Fish Deeper plays a big role in your experience, so let's explore the app to make sure you'll get the most out of your sonar. This is the home screen of your application. At the top, you can see the time, phone and sonar battery levels, water temperature and current depth. In the very middle, you will see the status of your sonar. Pressing on it will allow you to pause your scanning session or begin a new one using the mode of your choice. Let's open the sonar settings and begin with the fishing modes. Standard mode is the most basic of the four and will only provide sonar readings as you scan the water. Onshore mode will turn on the GPS inside your sonar. In addition to scanning the water, it will also draw a depth map. Boat mode will enable the use of GPS on your smartphone or tablet. It will scan the water and also draw a depth map. Ice fishing mode will provide additional options. On the right, you will see the usual display of sonar readings. On the left, you can choose between a map that will mark all your ice holes or the traditional ice flasher display. Sonar display changes the way sonar readings are shown. RAW shows every single sound reflection. BASIC will provide a simplified image, showing only the bottom contour and fish icons. Vertical Flasher adds an additional display of sound reflections being received at present. Beam Angle allows you to change the size of the scanning cone. Wide beams are good for finding fish, but the image is harder to read. Narrow beams are more accurate and provide a very detailed image, but are sensitive to movement of the sonar. The Medium Beam is a good middle ground between narrow and wide. Use it when you want to scan a larger area, but still want to have a detailed image. Sensitivity controls how much information you see. At 100%, you will see every single sound reflection your sonar receives. Reducing the sensitivity will filter out weak reflections. There is no perfect setting, so adjust it accordingly. If there is a lot of clutter, reduce the sensitivity until you can make out the important information. Fish icons enable an algorithm that interprets the sound reflections for you and assigns icons to what it thinks are fish. It is impossible to make it 100% accurate, so we recommend learning to interpret the readings yourself. Color palette changes the colors in which readings are displayed. By the way, you can zoom in on your readings by spreading the screen with two fingers. Night fishing turns on the LED light inside your sonar for better visibility. Depth alarm allows you to enable sound alerts for when you reach a specified depth. Show distance to sonar displays how far the sonar is away from you. Back in the main screen, the plus symbol can be used to place marks on the map. You can mark interesting spots, water features or log your catches. The Layers button allows you to control what information is shown on the map and what is filtered out. Here, you can also select custom colors for your depth maps or create your own color palette. Now, let's look at the left side menu. History stores your scanning sessions, which you can review at any time. You can also upload them to the cloud server to keep them safe, as well as review them on our Fish Deeper web app to plan your fishing trips. Premium allows you to purchase or redeem access to global depth maps. Offline maps can be downloaded to ensure that you will see the world map even in areas where you have no access to internet. Weather provides you with the forecast for your area. Preferences contain additional app settings like language or unit system. Finally, the info and support section contains useful information such as manuals and allows you to report problems with Fish Deeper.